So a lot of people have been asking me to make a build video. Season one is done, I hit level 40, so I said, why not? But before I show y'all anything, I need you to like the video and I need you to remember that we're doing a giveaway at 500 subs. All you have to do to enter is comment done and you're in. So I always make a small forward. I always start the year out with a small forward. My favorite player is LeBron, so that shouldn't be too surprising. Today, I'm gonna show y'all the magic and I'm gonna show you how to make a LeBron Tracy McGrady type build. Somebody who can do everything. He could boom out, shoot threes, play defense, pass the ball, everything, literally everything. If you're looking for a build who can dominate in the park, rec, pro-am, whatever you need, this is it. All right, so obviously the name doesn't matter. Position is small forward, hand is right-handed. Jersey number is 21 because I've always been 21 my whole life anytime I've hooped. I think I was even 21 in volleyball, honestly. So when it comes to the body, I tried to make this player as close to me in real life as possible. I'm 6'7 in real life, so I made him 6'7. I was 205 at the time. I'm 210 now, man. I'm getting big. But I made him 205. My wingspan is close to 7 foot. It's not exactly 7 foot, but we got to go with that. Now let's get into the chicken. Let's get into what y'all really came to see, these attributes. So for my finishing, my close shot is a 66, my driving layup is an 80, my driving dunk is a 92. That 92 driving dunk lets me boom out everything and lets me get all the badges I need to boom out. And you also get 20 finishing badges. Trust me, 20 finishing badges is more than enough. You really can get away with 15, but 20 works perfect. And as y'all see, I boom everything. Having over a 90 driving dunk also lets you get pretty much any animation unless it's a big man animation. My standing dunk is a 25, my post control is a 25, I don't do post moves, so I don't really need that. For shooting, my mid range is a 86 and my three pointer is a 83, my free throw is a 90. Put your free throw up people, please put your free throw up. I see too many people missing free throws in the clutch in the wreck. Put your free throw up. It really doesn't cost you nothing, I promise you it doesn't. But the 86 mid range helps me get a lot of badges that I can't get because I have an 83 3. But don't worry, 83-3 is pretty crazy in this game. I mean, I shoot 70% from the rec and the park. You can honestly hit with a 75-3 and the right badges. And I'm gonna give y'all the right badges after this. For playmaking, pass accuracy is probably the most important thing to me, because like I said, I like to be a point forward. You can dribble with an 84, but you can also get most of these dribble moves with a 70. But with an 80 pass accuracy, you unlock most of the badges you need to be a dimer. And y'all gotta remember, my favorite player is LeBron, so I love to pass the rock. With an 84 ball handle, you get every animation you can at 6'7". The only problem is because you're 6'7", you can't get those really cheesy dribble moves. But as y'all can see, I do perfectly fine with the dribble moves I got. My speed with ball is only 75, but trust me, I move like a gazelle on that court. So you get 24 playmaking badges, which for a 6'7 small forward is more than enough. I mean, I have ankle breaker. Ankle breaker silver works perfectly fine. Hyper drive is beautiful. Stop and go is beautiful. Special delivery is beautiful. Bullet pass or needle threader, like all those are crazy. And they help you turn into LeBron. In this game, defensive badges are probably the most important because everybody can shoot. Everybody. So my interior defense is a 46. Interior defense is not too important if you play like me because I'm not really in the paint. And if I am, I'm getting a chase down or I'm playing weak side defense. My perimeter defense is a 86. That's really important. Steals at 86. Again, that's really important. They made steals really easy. So you want to get that 86 steal so you can get clamps and interceptor on gold. On top of that, I have an 81 block. So I block everything. I get chase down artists on gold. And then the one problem I have with this build is that my rebounding is pretty low. My offensive is a 40, my defensive is a 60, but I play with bigs that get every board anyway. The reason I don't like it is because last year I averaged 26, 8, and 8, which is impossible with a 40 and a 60 rebound this year. But you make up for it in pretty much every other way. You get 17 playmaking badges, which may not seem like a lot, but if you put it on Interceptor, Intimidator, Chase Down Artists, Clamps, Pickpocket, you should be good. For physicals, my speed is a 79, acceleration 77, strength is a 45, vertical 90, and stamina a 95. Y'all see the athletic freak I got, so this is gonna work perfect for you. When it comes to takeover, just have fun and try different things. I think spotter precision is the best in the entire game, but sometimes I run spotter precision and limitless, or spotter precision and finishing moves. It just depends on what type of mood I'm in. Do I wanna boom on everybody, or do I wanna shoot the lights out? So like I said before, this is a really balanced build. You can do everything. Like I'm not exaggerating. Y'all see the clips. I'm gonna put more clips up at the end, but you can do everything. For my build, how I run the badges is I have limitless takeoff on Hall of Fame, posterizer on gold. If I could get on Hall of Fame, I would have it on Hall of Fame, but gold works perfectly fine. Slithery finisher on Hall of Fame. And then with the rest of the three points, I put Lob City finisher on silver. That just makes the green window bigger and lets me catch those contact lobs. Shooting badges. I know y'all are horny for these shooting badges. All y'all love to shoot. Everybody loves shooting tutorials, jump shot videos, all that. So let's get into the shooting. For me, I run Hot Zone Hunter on gold. Sniper. Sniper is the most important badge in this game. If you don't know about Sniper, I'm gonna tell you right now. It helps you make so many whites. When y'all go into the park and y'all rage because people hit whites, it's because they have Sniper. So I have Sniper Hall of Fame. I have Catch and Shoot on silver, Corner Specialist on gold. Then I run Stop and Pop on bronze. 
green machine on gold, lucky seven on gold. And with that extra point, I put it on blinders. A lot of people actually run limitless spot up and dead eye. For me, limitless spot up is a little pointless because I don't take those super deep shots. And then I don't need dead eye because I don't take contested shots. And if I do take contested, you hit so many of them anyway, it doesn't really matter. With playmaking, you actually have the most freedom. So I have ankle breaker on bronze, bullet passer on silver. I run hyperdrive on gold. Hyperdrive is my favorite badge. It just lets you do moves quicker when you're going downhill or towards the rim. I have quick first step on silver, stop and go on gold. That's a really good badge too. Unpluggable on silver. Like I said, steals are so easy this game, you have to use it. Bailout is on bronze. Then I have glue hands on bronze, needle threaders on bronze, tight handles on silver, and then special delivery on bronze. If you're a flashy player, you need special delivery. That's how you throw lobs off the backboard and bounce alleys to your teammates. Last but not least, we have the defensive badges. So you have 17 defensive badges. With that, I go straight to pickpocket on gold. I put interceptor on gold. You don't need these two on gold, but I have it on gold, because why not? Clamps is on gold, and then I put the rest on chase down artist and intimidator on bronze. These badges help me lock up everybody. Five, seven guards, players my size, seven, three bigs, everybody. And all you need is 17 to have quiet like defense. So all y'all have been asking, and here you go. Here goes your LeBron build, your T-Mac build, your Kobe build, your Jordan build. He's just a GOAT. He's the best. But with that being said, don't forget to sub and comment done to join the giveaway. I want to thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe for more. This is Tall T and I'm out.